to start here in this hutch. We'll start here up on top. So I got these books here from a thrift store and then I got this vase from Walmart and then the florals are actually from Dollar Tree and I think those look amazing. Dollar Tree sometimes can have some really good florals and they can be expensive so it's nice to get them for only $1.25. And we're going to start here on this first shelf of the hutch. So I've got some thrifted pieces. I've got some new things in here. So this picture here is thrifted, or the frame is thrifted. And then I got this picture here for free online. Then this little acorn here, I believe that's from Kohl's and it lights up and then I've got some vintage cups and then all three of these pumpkins here are new to me this year. Some are from Hobby Lobby and some of them are from Dollar General. They have some pretty good stuff there. Then we go here in the second shelf and we've got some another thrifted frame, thrifted, thrifted, new, thrifted, and then some more thrifted books over here with some pumpkins. These little pumpkins are actually from Dollar Tree and I think they look pretty nice. Um, and then I believe this one came from Kohl's. We get on to the last shelf. So this basket came from a thrift store. The pumpkins are from Dollar Tree and the florals are from Amazon. And then I believe this piece here came from Hobby Lobby. So that is the hutch in the living room all decorated up. I think it's actually my favorite piece in my whole house that I have done. For some reason, it just turned out super well. <laughs> and then we move over here to my buffet. I love this piece so much. This buffet is from the Victorian era. I believe it to be from the late 1800s or the early 1900s. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful piece. So on here, I kind of just went with all pumpkins almost entirely. It looks really pretty, I think. I just went with different textures and colors and things like that. So we've got this pumpkin here and I put a candle inside of it so that it would kind of light up. This clock here is from Target. Got a Dollar Tree pumpkin. And then I added this garland here that has lights on it and it's battery operated. So it's really nice if you don't have a plug-in. We do live in an old house, so sometimes plugins can be difficult to find, <laughs> which is a, quite an interesting thing to live with. But anyways, um, I got this big glass pumpkin here. This is from Hobby Lobby, and then I just put what, a battery operated candle in here so it looks really pretty when it's all lit up. And then we've got some wood pumpkins here from Hobby Lobby, another battery operated candle. Um, I think this one also came from Hobby Lobby. And then we've got some antique books here that I got for probably like 50 cents a piece. I usually get books for really cheap from thrift stores and estate sales, things like that. Then this is a pumpkin stack from Dollar General. I think that was only like $5. It was very affordable. Um, and then this here, I believe is from Kohl's. So back in here, we've got some essential oils and you can get these in a set of four off of Amazon and they all have fall scented smells. I will link those below. Um, anything that I can, I will link in the description box so you can go grab it if you want to. Then over here on my blanket ladder, we have just a blanket. So my sister and brother-in-law made this blanket ladder for me out of cedar. They both do woodworking. They're very good at it. And I just put this fall blanket here. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just a really pretty texture. It has those pretty fall colors. And then I just put this pillow here. It's where I keep my purse. And then over here I've got my vintage Bible. Um, I got this for 50 cents. It's one of those super large Bibles. I still can't believe I paid only 50 cents for it. And then we go over here into the corner. Um, I thrifted this picture here for $5 and it has the Lord's Prayer on it, and then it has a leaf design around the edge, so it's perfect for fall. And now, 
This hutch here actually matches the buffet that I just showed you. So I got both of them for $175, which is an absolutely amazing deal. I had so much fun decorating these. So I've just got a, can a brass candle holder and some battery operated candles. Um, and then uh, these florals here are also from Dollar Tree. Those look so amazing. I've got, a, got it in a vase elevated on some thrifted books and just this little gourd. Is that a gourd, I think? And then we got some more of those. This leaf garland that's all lit up. And then I'm going to open this up because it glares really bad. So you won't be able to see anything unless I open it. Okay, so we get in here and we've got a black pumpkin, some thrifted glasses, um, some more thrifted pieces here. I love thrifting. This little bird here, the shelf sitter, she came from Hobby Lobby. She was very affordable. We got some more thrifted glasses here, some thrifted pictures, more candles, some picks from Dollar Tree, and then I don't know if you can see it very good, but I've got like a little tray here that I got from an estate sale. And then down here we have, um, this is a McCoy planter. I got it from a flea market with some Dollar Tree pumpkins and some candles, which I just think looks really pretty and cozy. And then over here to the left, I've got this chair. I got it from a yard sale for $2, such an amazing price. And then I have a tablecloth over it from an estate sale and then just a green pillow. So I love how these look next to each other. I just think it's really beautiful. Now over in here, we just have the rest of my living room. We've got the couches. Uh, Sammy taking him a nap. He takes a lot of naps, so that happens a lot. <laughs> and then we've got the coffee table. So this mug doesn't stay here. I was just using it earlier. Um, and then I made this potpourri. We went, I went outside with my niece and we got some uh, pine cones. And we baked them, put some cinnamon sticks in there, and added some essential oils. It smells amazing. I have this little canister here from Hobby Lobby with Sammy's treats in it. And then this tray came from the Dollar Tree Plus. It was like $5. Great price. Got us some battery-operated candles and then a real candle. It's the Everspring brand from Target. Um, they do soy wax and they, do, um, they don't do like toxic things in them. So I do like to burn those sometimes. But there's my coffee table. Got this chair here. I didn't really do anything special with it. And then we come over here to one of my side tables. These little pump or these apples here came from Dollar Tree. They look incredibly nice. I love them. And then I used this thrifted tablecloth as kind of a runner. And then another one of those vases from Walmart. These little pumpkins here are from Walmart. And these picks are from Dollar Tree. I love how that all looks together. And I really didn't spend that much to do that. On my couch, I didn't really do much. I just put this pumpkin pillow um, and then this other pillow cover, which kind of has like a fall, fall color theme, I guess. These are always on my couch. And I just added a few muted color pillows over here on this couch. But that is my living room for fall. This shelf here with almost all thrifted pieces besides the candles and the garland. I took this vase and put this lampshade over it with some of my battery operated candles and it looks like a little lamp. And then I got this basket here. I put some thrifted books in it with some greenery from a yard sale. I then put this candle on the side and then this picture here is also thrifted. This whole baker's rack itself was $50, and 
and then I turned it into this coffee bar. So you have like your usual things that you need, your coffee maker and a water filter. And then I have some floral picks here. I have this vintage sugar cup or cream, cream cup, I don't know. Anyways, um, and then I put these little stir spoons in it from Hobby Lobby. We come over here. I've got a vintage doily and these brass, or not brass, these silver spoons here are from an estate sale with this Bible verse picture here. This is from Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree pumpkin, some Dollar Tree picks, and a thrifted face. And this little pumpkin cutting board here is from Hobby Lobby, but I use it as a place to set the mugs so that I don't damage my baker's rack. Up here, there's not much decor. It's mostly the stuff you need for your coffee. This is a pumpkin shaped holder. I've got a pumpkin salt holder with one of my thrifted doilies on it. Some stuff in a tray. Got a little mushroom canister with another doily. And then over here, just another little decoration. And then we come up to the top. This garland here is from Hobby Lobby. I got it on the 40% off sale. And then we go up here. I thrifted this little duck. Um, I think from... Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Maybe an estate sale. But then I got this brass planter and I put this little pumpkin thing in it. I got a sugar cup. These are some antique um, electric insulators. Got those at a yard sale. And then a basket I used for like a background. Got Mr. Duck here. <laughs> I got him from a dollar for a dollar from a thrift store. And then I thrifted this teapot here for four dollars, I believe. I love that piece. I just think it's so beautiful. On this wall, I didn't really do anything. I've just got my Mrs. Myers fall scents, and then I put this horse picture here, and then we use this vintage pitcher to fill up our water filter. Got all of my Mrs. Myers hand soaps and dish soaps. I then added this um, dish drying mat. Um, I got that from Family Dollar for like $3, but it just makes doing the dishes a little more fun. And then I have these little signs here. These are all from Dollar Tree. I've seen these on a lot of people's videos, so you might be familiar with these, but I just think they look really pretty. And then we come over here, where this has a lot more of my thrifted things. I got this Daily Bread um, little board here. I thrifted that. Um, that's not thrifted, that's just there for making stuff. But then we got some more thrifted pieces over here, some vintage books, and a hand towel. And then I added these mushroom lights from Hobby Lobby. They are battery operated, so I didn't have to worry about finding a plug-in for them. Then this tray here, I believe that or not tray this board here I believe it came from Hobby Lobby but I will have to look again and then I thrifted this little basket and got this spoon rest from Hobby Lobby so we go up and I took these little bows from Dollar Tree and I put them on my cabinet doors with command strips I only did the four cabinets over here on the edge but I thought that looked really cute. And then we come over here where I just have this little holder. It says, Hello Pumpkin. Just got some cooking utensils in it. And then I have a trivet here that I thrifted, which that could be for fall or for any, <laughs> any time of year, really. But there is my counters. And over here in the middle, I have an island where we've just got some fruit. And this little plate here was thrifted. Um, it says, um, it has like something from the Bible on it. I can't read it because the, well, because the fruit are on it, so. <laughs> but I thought that looked cute there. And then over on 
my fridge on top of it I decorated with some garland and some pretty orange floral picks. We've got a vintage tea set over here. It used to be my great grandmother's I believe. Some candle holders and that vase is from a yard sale. And then we've got some pictures on the wall in the background. Now in my hallway, I didn't do anything special. I just put this Bless This Home picture. This is from Dollar Tree. I thought it looked kind of cute here and added a little bit more of the fall feels. Then in the bathroom, I have another one of those. It says, I love fall most of all. And it's just here on this wall on its own. I didn't do a lot for the rest of my house. I just put a hand towel here with this leaf pattern. I got my Mrs. Myers hand soap. This is the fall leaf scent. It smells really good. I have this big leaf rug in the floor for the bathroom. I just think it gave it a little bit more of a fall touch. Add just a little bit of cheer in a room that you use a lot. Thank you so much for being in my home today. I really hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe and see more videos from me, that would be amazing. You can join our family. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye!